bronchoplural fistula it's a sinus tract which is formed between the bronchus and the pleural space with a mortality ranging between 25 to 71 percentage welcome to my channel lung master in this video part one we will be discussing about bronchoplural fistula in detail regarding its causes the risk factor the pathophysiology and the epidemiology Coming to the causes of bronchopleural fistula, post lung resection surgeries, pulmonary infection causing necrosis, the persistent spontaneous pneumothorax, following chemotherapy or radiotherapy for malignancy, and also infections like tuberculosis. Regarding the risk factors for BPF, some of the most common factors include the large diameter bronchial stem, bullous lung diseases, heavy smoking and chronic obstructive pulmonary diseases, low nutrition status or poor wound healing, diabetes mellitus, prolonged post-op mechanical ventilation, chemotherapy and radiation therapy, ventilator-induced barotrauma or central line placement. Coming to epidemiology. BPF or bronchopleural fistula is most commonly encountered after lung resection surgery, especially pneumonectomy, lobectomy, and segmentectomy, with a frequency of more of uh, 4.5 to 20 percentage after pneumonectomy and only 0.5 to 1 percentage after lobectomy. Now, coming to pathophysiology, post operative BPF. It may be classified as acute, subacute, and chronic. The acute form is caused by the surgical dehiscence, which can be life threatening due to tension pneumothorax or asphyxiation. So, in acute conditions, how do these patients present? They present with sudden appearance of dyspnea, hypotension, subcutaneous emphysema, and cough. And on examination, there can be a persistent air leak in ICD bag with the tracheal or mediastinal shift. And on X-ray, there can be a reduction or disappearance of pleural effusion, which is sudden in onset. The subacute and the chronic forms, they are primarily related with infection, more commonly seen in immunocompromised or debilitated patients. The subacute presentation is insidious in onset and is characterized by wasting, malaise, and fever. Whereas the chronic form is associated with an infectious process and fibrosis of the pleural space. This is a picture showing a bronchial stem closure following surgery. So when is the onset? It often occurs within 8 to 12 days after surgery. Within the first four post-op days, the mechanical failure or bronchial stem closure is the most common cause, which requires re-exploration. So that's all for today. In the coming video, we will be discussing regarding when to diagnose suspect BPM, how do you manage it and how do you treat. So stay tuned. Thank you.